What's going on everybody? My name is Eddie Wright and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to smoke a turkey, spatchcock style. Now what spatchcock is, you take the bird, take out the neck bone which is on the opposite side of here and you lay it out flat. From there we season it up top and bottom, throw it on the Jim Bowie Prime for about 3 hours, get it up to temp which is about 165, 170, pull it off, let it cool, slice and serve. So we're going to show you how to do that process using a little bit of Cosmos Q's chicken injection and a little medley that we're putting together for the special season and we'll see if you can do amazing barbecue the right way. Let's get started. Here we have our chicken back. <laughs> Sorry, here we have our turkey back. You can use this for stock or a few other choice items around Thanksgiving time. Here, we're gonna throw this one away. We have quite a few turkeys gonna do this holiday season. So with that being said, let's get it out of the way. Now from here, we're gonna flip the bird, put a little pressure on the back side, lay it out flat. Now what this does is gives us the ability to get all of the seasoning the way we want it, front and back, let us inject the way we want, nice and clean, and gives us a total even cooking process once we get it on the smoker. So now that we have this laid out the way we want it, we'll go ahead and mix up our marinade and inject our bird. Now that our bird is finished, we're gonna go ahead, flip it over, and start our seasoning process. We're gonna use a trio of seasonings today. We're gonna to take a new season. We have Delta Legends, Feather and Fowl, and then we're gonna to use two of our traditionals. Boar's Night Out, White Lightning, Double Garlic Butter, and Elk Creek, Hog Noble Honey Chipotle. Use these as a trio. We're gonna see how it goes down, and hopefully we come out with what we imagine is gonna be a pretty great tasting bird. So, let's get started. All right, got everything all seasoned up. Let's get the pit fired up, get it up 300 degrees, and get it on. All right, we got the Jim Bowie rolling. We've got our turkey on the smoker set to 300. Got the legs wrapped up. As you can see, with a smoker this size, this is a grill, we can probably fit four spatchcock turkeys on here at a time. 
give us amazing results. We have this one on the upper rack so we can get as much smoke and circulation penetration as possible. Nothing wrong with the bottom rack, but we know getting that elevation gives us a lot more penetration on the uh, smoke and less penetration on the heat. So it kind of slows it down just a little bit. We got the dot key uh, down there choking it up quite a bit so we can get as much smoke and chew as less amount of pellets as we can. So let's see how this turns out. A few moments later. All right, we are an hour in. Let's open up and see what we have. Ooh, a lot of smoke. Hell of counts looking not too bad. Looking like some great color on the bird so far. Uh, we adjust it down to kind of equal out the great temp. We don't have the most accurate of temp pros right now. I'm afraid I would do this, but I like the way this looks. I like the way this looks and I like the progress so far, so I think we'll keep it where it is. We may shift the bird down a little bit. Um, but be a little bit extra safe. moments later all right guys we've got our bird out of the smoker two hours completely done temperature probed it it's 165 to 185 in certain sections so we pulled it sat it on the cutting board allowed it to come down and now we're going to go ahead and slice it up and let you guys see the results our injection came out great we added a little bit of honey just for an extra pizzazz to the uh to the process and uh, we're going to see if that came out the way we thought it would. So let's get to it. All right, took us a little bit of work, but we've got the breast out. Looks very good, it's very tender on the inside. We had to come down here to this plate, kind of come across the bottom. We'll go ahead and finish off that process. Let you guys take a look at this amazing cut that we have. Looks and feels tender. Skin is not tough and the breast actually just cuts through very well. A lot of moisture within this. Um, this is not a dry bird and I'm very happy about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And you can see just from the interior how juicy of a bird this was after the injections. We'll go ahead and give it a taste. That is insanely good. The injection provides a nice kick, but it's kind of calmed down with the Mississippi honey. And overall, it's just an amazingly great taste for the breast. I'm extremely satisfied with this. I can't wait to um, let a couple other people get a taste test of it. Rates amazing, as you can see. Very moist, not dry at all. Good bite all the way through. Good pull. After all the research and the testing tunes in my brain that I did, I'm very pleased with the outcome of this turkey. 
leave the instructions at the bottom of the uh, leave the instructions at the bottom of the description so you guys at home can follow the same process and do your own smoked turkey. But we'll go ahead and finish getting this diced up and again enjoy the results guys. Fine tune it the way you want to and enjoy it. Happy Thanksgiving. And thank you guys for tuning in. And always remember, you too can do amazing barbecue the right way. Have a good one.